welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elliot Fair Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. Uh, I've got a couple of trading setups in crude oil and in FTSE. We are going to discuss them one by one and um, we'll see how things are going up. Uh, first of all, as you guys are aware of it, I am bearish as a whole, as far as the yearly trend is concerned. I'm bearish on crude oil, I'm bearish on stock indices, that especially in US, Canadian, and UK ones. Um, the Chinese stock market is behaving a little different. A little different. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, we can look at that later. Uh, but for now, we are going to discuss crude oil. We'll see. Want to see? I've got got good news for the, well, for spe a lot of people who are consuming crude oil, for the general public. And uh, so let's get to it. First of all, this is the daily chart, uh, and uh, let's uh, make it a little bigger so we can actually see some picture. All right, here's the chart. We can clearly see that we have seen an impulsive move downward, and then from this bottom, we have seen a double bottom forming over here. Most recently, we have uh, found the jump up. It was kind of a triple bottom. It went up, but it's forming a structure right around over here. If you guys are new to the uh, uh, channel, or uh, if you have been seeing me for a while, actually, uh, this is the one of the forecasts that normally tell. This is very, very strong trading pattern that we have that we are forming a pattern, a corrective pattern, right along the very important extremes. So right now these two extremes, uh, these two bottoms are really important, the double bottom. Uh, we found a bottom right around here and here we have formed a structure uh, right around that, uh, right over here. Forming, give us an indication that we have found a support on a smaller time frame and then we are to go further down. And then this itself is actually going to cross this important resistance point, meaning the larger trend stays down. So this is uh, in in large we are looking for as for the trend analysis on Elliott is uh, on crude oil is concerned we have seen an impulsive wave which is wave one we have seen a corrective wave which is wave two and right now we are sitting right uh, where the previous important uh, low war and we have it looks like we have completed the pattern we are going to look at the pattern the next move is important and we're going to discuss that uh, let me get back to hourly time frame so we can actually see some a detailed version of what we're trying to find. So let me scale that a bit. All right, here's the next thing we are seeing right now. We have wave A, wave B, and wave C right over here. Uh, we are definitely, definitely looking for a stronger price movement downward. We are looking for st a five wave structure downward coming to back and in some lower end of the channel. Uh, the important point that we need to understand that could that be the just end of the trying and uh, the correction? Um, or the correction is still going on. If the correction is still going on, this will turn on to wave W, this will turn into wave X, and this will turn into wave Y. So w we have to isolate this particular price movement from the next price movement. We need to understand that there, there is a possibility that when this price movement is complete, the jump could be actually deep forming an A, a B, and a C pattern. There is a possibility whether it's going to happen or not, this is one of the alternating counts. The other possibility is that we actually complete a deeper five wave structure and we see a pullback right over here confirming the previous important bottom right over here. This is an important bottom. So we can actually see prices coming right over here and retesting that area and then coming back again. So we'll have to keep that in mind. But right now the opportunity in front of us is clear. We have a clear pattern with A, wave B and wave C which is an expanded flat correction. We have seen wave B go way beyond the beginning of wave A, which is indicating that the downward pressure is really strong. Not only that, we have seen kind of the we have seen a, a lower low as compared to the end of wave A. So wave C has ended much lower as compared to the end of the A. It's all indicating towards the further bearish pressure on crude oil. Let's have a look on a 15 minute chart to so see if you can actually find a pattern. There is a pattern, I'm pretty sure you guys can see it right over here. Uh, we just need to enlarge it a little bit and give me a moment let me do that auto okay there it is now much better now so we have seen clearly five wave structure right over here and an impulsive correction or you can complete six years and one and two and th one and two so this whole structure itself is a side wave structure is pretty good I would actually put my stop loss right over here and I would not want them to go prices beyond that. So this point is very, very crucial 
we can say with a higher accuracy that this trend wave C is complete because the trend line if we use this trend line or we can actually combine wave 2 and wave 4 we combine them together we can clearly see that the uh, trend line got broken uh, let me bring that and see if we can actually find some pattern in into it so we can clearly see that this line was broken and I was wondering if you can actually find some a retest of that so here we guys we have seen some sort of uh, not exactly a retest we have seen some sort of uh, resistance right over here prices went up down and then we have kind of seen retest in that it's not that much clear something in this area so all of this is giving indication we are bearish on crude oil and I'm gonna take a position on crude oil being short right now the next thing I want to deal is the uh, FTSE. I think FTSE was which one was I was using? Okay, not a good idea. FTSE 100, and I think this was the one. Okay. Now with FTSE 1, although I was saying that we were going to be, we have seen some bearish price action, but it looks to me, uh, let's have a look at our time frame, that there's a little more bullish uh, price movement left in that regard. We have not seen the reversal, you were expecting the reversal uh, to happen. So there is a possibility that we have uh, kind of mislabeled it. In that case, we are to see this a correction and the price is moving upward. All right. So I'm right now going on with that point and I'm going to bring this right over here. If prices actually drop below 7,100, 7, that's an important, it's right now 7,180, 7, but I want to go through your 7,100. In that case, that will be confirming that the correction actually started from over here and ended right over here. But I think it looks less likely right now uh, because the way the prices are behaving in this region, they did not provide support for the previous important area if prices was to come right over here and then jump up and it's kind of give us a head and shoulder pattern at the end of it uh, that would be giving an indication the way this price action is behaving and uh, giving me an indication that this is uh, one leg probably we are going to see a second leg of the correction and we're going to see some price movement upward in that direction before it falls down so a little this is a little correction in that regard uh, I'm pretty sure I started from right from the middle if you guys are unaware of it. I'm bas basically bearish on FTSE. I was assuming that you guys are well aware of my um, analysis but not everybody is. So I've just recently trying to make a move from MT4 MT5 to uh, trading view and it's going to take uh, some time to put some labeling right over here. I'm going to do some an, uh, analysis studies as well. So. Uh, bear with me the analysis detail will be in detail right now I'm considering this as an impulsive wave a corrective wave we either ended over here or over here and then we have an impulsive wave and a corrective wave and then we'll go down right now we are going through that corrective wave and we are considering that the correction wave is complete or not and for that regard we can pull uh, this line right over here which is 7150 if price drops below 7155 that will be indication that we have seen a top right over here but the way as I said the way that we have seen prices behaving on a smaller time frame which is an hourly time frame there's a possibility that we have seen a W and X and a Y and then we'll go up further so that's the way it looks to me right now uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, you'll be able to see the, as soon as we some see some more data on FTSE 100 wish you good luck with your training next week have a good one and bye bye